Let's start with the I-16. Um, I-16 was a uh, pre-World War II and they used it in the early part of World War II. Fighter, ground attack. You can you can see open cockpit. Not very safe. Um, it did have a roll reinforced roll cage under the skin in case the aircraft did happen to make a bad landing. Uh, if it was to go over on its top then this guy here probably wouldn't have been the fighter of World War II. MC-202, extremely fast, very fast. Uh, right here we have the uh, Newport 17, top fighter during World War I, flown by the uh, French Lafayette Escadrille. Twin Mustang, the F-82. Developed where one man was navigator and weapons, and the other man actually flew the plane. Unbelievable, nice one. Don't find any of those. Pretty comparable. Vickers Supermarine would have torn this old boy right up. Unbelievable. What else do we see here? What's that? What is it? The De Havilland Mosquito. What about? Used as a light bomber, a fighter bomber, during World War II by the British. It was completely made out of plywood and newspaper. Very light, very agile, very quick. Used to do bombings on German dams uh, with a 500 to 700 pound cylinder type bomb that would actually skip before they called it skip bombing. So it would hit all of the lower portion of the dam, explode, and um, completely disintegrate the whole thing. Ooh, what do we have here? Oopsie. Oh, I wonder who makes it. Oh, Academy. Is that a very good model? Uh, what do they want for? Probably too much. I can just tell by the nose cone right off the bat that uh, this is not. This isn't what a person's looking for. Oh, we have another P51 model up here. Oh God. Eighteen bucks uh, Academy. No. What you're looking for in models is monogram by the U.S. or Hasegawa, which is right down over here, Japanese top of the line, they really do a lot of research on all the models that they do. What do we have here? Probably a B-24 depicting bombing of Ploesti, the oil fields in Italy. Testers, not bad. Ravel, very good in 132 scale fighters. Such as Fox Wolf. Most all, Ravel probably does their better work in 132 scale World War II planes. Their um, the big thing in model model manufacture is. The person who can come out with the most popular model first usually is going to get an edge. But when you build, when you try to build something quickly, more often than not, you're not going to get very good scale reproductions. Ravel tried to come out with this 
the Su-27 Flanker, which is the newest of Soviet top-line fighters, and um, it's not a very good model. It's not very well depicted as you can see from the... That's not very good at all. Ravel, as you can see behind me, up or to the right, they came out with all all the Russian all the Russian fighters, the Russian fighters, the new 31 Foxhound. Um, that again is not a very good model. Um, the Yak 38 Forger up here to the right, as you can see up up top here. That is like the Harrier. And to the left, which is comparable to the A-10, the SU-25 Frogfoot. And the MI-28, the Mill Bureau, the newest Soviet helicopter, attack helicopter, the Havoc. But we're in the Rebel section, and one thing that they do do well are 132 scale World War II planes. We have the Spitfire, P-47, and they're all very well. They're all very well detailed. With engine, cockpit, things like that. We have the uh, oh, oh. ME-109. Very nice model. I built this model a few years ago. It's got the Hispano engine. Unbelievable. What's this one? What is this one? Oh, this is the G. That's oh, a nice model. Oh, yeah. Ravel is. What else we got here? Fujimi. Not bad. Not, not good. Oh, Ravel, once again, soon enough, he'll be extremely popular in your backyard. Here is a 132 scale. And by now, Ravel is probably a little bit better. Scale F14A. Um, just a world, just a plethora. Unbelievable. Uh oh. Uh oh. Scourge of the Japanese skies. The Kashua J7W1 Shinden. Oh, let's have a Shinden. Or Shindig or something like that. There it is. Unbelievable. How much money could you spend in a store like this in about an hour? Oh, about an hour. Oh, 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 oh. Here we have the newest possible SU-27 flying top of the line model. It's got photo edge parts, uh, 3495. It's 172 scale, which is quite a bit smaller than that MiG-29. And uh, it's $4 more, $5 more. But the detail that Hasegawa goes through in building their models is unsurpassed by any model manufacturer in the world. You can see they've got these photo etch parts. These are actually made out of metal. You can see the detail that they go into in recreating the... Oh, this is a copy of the ones that flew at Farnborough. 